Hi, today I'm going to be attempting to repair this VCD that has a torn shoulder dump valve. Um, the damage right here is to this male threaded part that sticks out. This VCD is not really old, so I'm really reluctant to get rid of it. Uh, it's mostly sat in storage, doesn't really have that many dives on it. Um, unfortunately, when I was looking into doing this repair, almost everything I found said this kind of valve is not meant to be repaired. If you get this kind of damage, you just need a new BCD. But there was one exception, and that was a company called Scuba Fix. They make a kit. It was about $125. They're out of uh, Singapore. So I ordered the kit for this style of BCD. This is a Sequest Pro QD BCD. The kit shipped FedEx and actually arrived very quickly. I'm very impressed with that. And the um, kit does not look complicated. Seems pretty straightforward. So I feel pretty good about attempting this repair. So just real quick, here's a close-up of the damage portion. You can see that uh, this male threaded part of the valve is completely torn. Um, BCD does not hold air at all, so it's really just completely unusable in this state, and this obviously cannot be fixed. Next, I want to give you a look at what was inside the FedEx package that I received from Scuba Fix. There's this little insert, it says they offer a five-year warranty. On the other side, got a little more product information. This claims that the repair can be done from the comfort of your own home within 20 minutes. And then there's a list of all the BCD manufacturers that they offer replacement valves for. And then inside the box here, we've got the replacement for the damaged part. This must be adhesive. A little bit of sandpaper. And finally, I was expecting instructions, but these are not actually instructions. But if you look at the bottom here, it says view the step-by-step -step repair video here. And there's a website for me to go to to find the instructions. Okay, I've had a chance to review the instructions by going online to the website sent by the Scuba Fix company. Um, it required a password, which I didn't expect, but it turns out I went back to their shipping email and there is the password right there. So I was able to put the password in, watch the video, it's a little over six minutes long and uh, pretty straightforward. So the next step is going to be to cut away the old valve. They recommend using scissors or a similar cutting tool they recommend against using any kind of uh, knife or pliers because you could damage the nylon material on the BCD itself, and obviously you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, commence with cutting away the old valve, and um, we'll see how that goes. So at this point, I have not succeeded in removing all of the old valve base. Um, I made a mistake in trying to use these household scissors that have a plastic handle. The handle snapped on my first attempt to cut into the plastic. So I went into my toolbox and I came up with these diagonal pliers. Diagonal pliers are very sturdy and didn't have any trouble cutting through the plastic. So here's a close-up look at the valve base and the I just want to show you the kind of difficulty I'm having here. I'm using the diagonal pliers. Um, They're pretty good, like I said, for removing the raised portion here and then the inner portion here. But despite making a bunch of cuts like so into the remaining plastic circle, I really couldn't get any of this plastic out. In fact, I already nicked the nylon of the BCD once with these diagonal pliers that are not a good precision cutting tool. So I was really at a loss for a while, and I did finally come up with a solution. Uh, to be clear, Scoofix said 
you should not use pliers and you should not use knives, but I really couldn't think of anything else other than come in here, grip this plastic ring, use a knife to make a cut like so through it, and that allowed me to cut this way and get a little chunk out. Now that I got that chunk out and there's a break in this plastic ring, I think it's going to be a lot easier going forward. All right. At this point, I removed all of the old valve base. Um, I did end up using the pliers and the knife for the entire job. Again, Scuba Fix says you shouldn't do that, and I also would not recommend it. I just couldn't think of anything better. Um, I don't have access to a lot of tools. I think ideally what you want is maybe a set of uh, a few different sizes of scissors or other cutting tools because you need something like the diagonal pliers that's going to cut through the thickest parts of the plastic, but then you're going to want something smaller to remove the little bits that are left over. My diagonal pliers just weren't capable of cutting really close to the edge of the hole or inside of the hole um, without actually damaging the BCD itself. So using the pliers and the knife uh, did work for me, but it took forever because I was just really afraid of slicing into the nylon material or even stabbing the BCD accidentally and putting a hole in it. But it is done now. The next step is to sand this area to remove any little bits of plastic. And I went ahead and did that already. Scuba Fix sent this little piece of sandpaper. It's pretty fine grit though. So once I actually started sanding, I had some really big chunks of plastic in here and um, it just wasn't really getting the job done for me. So luckily I had some coarse grit sandpaper just lying around, tore off a piece and that made the job go much more quickly. So when I feel it now, there's no more plastic from that old valve base left and I'm ready to insert the new valve base. Next step in the process is to insert this new valve base into this hole in the BCD. Um, unfortunately, the instruction video was just a series of pictures. So they say you're supposed to squeeze this into kind of an ellipse. And then when it's in an ellipse shape, you can just drop this in there. Um, I've practiced it a few times offline for my own video and I haven't been able to do it. I'm not convinced it's a one person job. So I'm gonna have to go figure something out and I'm gonna come back to this. All right, I'm really happy to report that I was finally able to get that plastic piece from the kit inserted into the hole in the BCD. Um, it did take me at least 45 minutes. I tried over and over and over to do it the way the instructions said, but I finally concluded it was just impossible, at least for me to do by myself. Maybe if I had an extra set of hands, it might have been possible, but on my own, there's just no way it was gonna happen doing it the way the instructions said to. Uh, what did work was I resorted to grabbing my wife's hair dryer, using it to heat the area around the hole to get this nylon just a little bit stretchy. And then I went to the kitchen, grabbed this table knife and gently pried the fabric over the flared base of this plastic piece. And that's what worked for me. Now it's time to start applying the glue. I've got the adhesive from Scuba Fix. Didn't have a puncture cap, which is kind of annoying. I had to go and poke a hole in it myself. We're going to apply a little bit of glue, rotate the valve, apply more glue, and just keep doing that until we've used about half of the tube. Now that the glue is applied to the base of the valve, we're going to move it to the center of the hole, get it ready for its final assembly, and then we're going to do something similar with the adhesive. I'm going to go around the outside and put a little bead of glue all the way around. The 
glue's all applied now. I was worried about it being a little messy, and it was. Um, I managed to get the glue on some of the threads of the valve. That is definitely to be avoided if you can. Too late for me, but hopefully you can be a little more careful. And the final piece of the puzzle is going to be installing this ring. It's going to lock the valve in place. And for the instructions, I'm going to start tightening it and glue is going to pop out from the sides. And as it does, I need to clean it with my finger and then clean off my finger with a rag soaked in turpentine. The ring is installed now. I did finish and looks all right to me. Um, FYI, the ring does have a top and a bottom, but it's not marked. And initially I started putting it on upside down. So I would advise marking the ring before starting any of this process so you don't run into that problem. Uh, as I started twisting the ring and it started going down, uh, I was able to clean up the glue from the threads here with a toothbrush dipped in turpentine, so that's good. My threads are all nice and clean now. And uh, it looks the way the instructions say it should look. Predictably, you don't want a gap between this ring and the nylon material of the BCD. And then you want a nice bead of glue all the way around because the glue is going to form a seal between the ring and the nylon. And the only thing left is to use a little more turpentine with my rag to clean up some of the excess glue. After finishing with the glue, the instructions were to lay the BCD on a flat surface and let it sit for 18 hours so the glue can cure. So I've done that now. I've reassembled the valve and I'm going to give you a closer look at the repair. Here you can see this is the old valve and here's the new uh, scuba fix portion of the valve and you can also see there is a bead of glue all the way around this ring that's keeping the valve in place. Per the instructions, if you do find a leak, you can just add more glue to seal it. At this point, there's nothing left to do except for a leak check. The instructions don't describe how to do a leak check. Um, I've already inflated the BCD and let it sit for over an hour. There's no signs that it's losing air at all. Uh, to be sure, normally I would take a spray bottle filled with some soapy water, spray it around the repaired area, look for bubbles. I don't happen to have a spare spray bottle, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna do is take the inflated BCD and dunk it into a tub of water and look for bubbles just to be sure. But the repair does look really solid, so uh, I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to find a leak. Okay, I've now completed the leak check, and the leak check was good. There are no bubbles to be seen around the repair area, and I'm ready to get back to scuba diving. Um, I have 100% confidence that the repair is going to hold. In fact, it looks so good, I think it's going to last for the life of the BCD. Um, to wrap it up, I want to say thank you, Scuba Fix, for bring this product to market. It saved me from having to buy a whole new BCD and that is a big deal, but I do just have to add, I really don't think the instructions from Scuba Fix provide enough detail at this point. Um, sure, if you're a licensed scuba repair technician, you have access to a lot of tools and you have the experience to figure things out if you encounter difficulties just like I did, but I don't think there's enough detail in those instructions for the average consumer to complete this repair successfully at this time. So hopefully Scuba Fix will fix that. Um, in the meantime, hopefully this video will help at least one person with their repair. If it does, then it's worth the time I put into it. So thank you for watching and happy diving.